what is apparent to you as opposed to um, the God who is working miraculously on your behalf. So we're going to pray and ask him to help us um, trust him this morning. And I want to pray and ask you to um, to join me and to have your heart respond to what he desires for you. Let's pray. Lord, we love you and we thank you for the We thank you for the fact that though we live in a world that where we see things very plainly and sometimes those things are, are, are blessed and happy, but we admit that sometimes those things are unexpected and scary. And while we, we, we don't want to do life um, without you. We want to do life very much with you, very much for you. And so I pray that you'd help us do that. I pray that you would help us as your children to be willing to say to you, God, what is apparent, what I see is difficult for me. It's scary to me. It bothers me. It's uh, challenging and I cannot handle it on my own. And please help me, Lord God, to believe in you and your almighty power at work uh, that I cannot see. And to know that it's just as real and far more powerful than what I do see. And I pray that you would help us, Lord God, to to make that our prayer in our heart uh, in all situations and circumstances. And I pray that for your for your church here, that we would do that together, that as we move forward coming out of this season of um, COVID and all the changes that we had to make in regards to that, that you would please help us to increase in our dependence upon you. I pray that you would deliver us from responding and reacting and acting upon what we do see and instead help us to surrender to and be obedient to and dependent upon you who we do not see but who are God who over who is God over all who is God over your church. We ask that in the precious name of Jesus who made this, in fact, your church. Amen. Martin and I are going to sing...